Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Slipways where today we're going through the looking glass. Unable to stop the growing rifts, the Vittori attempt to find a way to survive inside them. Um, I do want to say before we get started here, I'm having such a good time with this game and with the, the design of these campaign missions and stuff. I hope you all are as well. Um, both having fun with the game on your own and also enjoying the, the content here. Um, I don't know if you know this. I think Slipways is a pretty good video game. That's that's my official opinion. Uh, also, I like this. Find, find a way to survive in the catastrophe is definitely feels to me like a more um, forward-thinking and re quote-unquote real solution than many of the other ones we've seen. Granted, the decent thing to do, the moral thing to do, would be to find a way to contain the damage you have created or perhaps uh, fix it after the fact so that, you know, you're not obliterating all other life in the universe that didn't necessarily sign up for your bullshit. But this is something. This is progress. Despite their heroic efforts, Vittori scientists could not find a solution to the deterioration of space-time. They discovered something else. A phase-shifting technology that enables uploading Vittori consciousness into rift-proof vessels. So this is a pretty narrow definition of survive. Uh, this sector serves as a proving ground for the pro for the project. The thing is, you're not... Okay, you're not surviving, though. Like, your meat is a critical part of your consciousness. A thing that was a direct copy of the electrical... Even the bioelectrical parts of your brain in a computer is not the same thing as you. You've just, you've created a different thing that is similar to you in some ways. You're not surviving. You're just making a different thing that can survive, which is not actually all that different from the, um, from the Dender plan, um, frankly. Anyway, sorry to get, I have a real, I have real feelings about a certain brand of science fiction, uh, as you can probably tell. Anyway, focus. 28 years to complete the mission goals. Settle 18 vessels inside the rifts. Establish at least 12 successful planets inside the rifts. Uh, neither people nor robots can survive inside the rifts. Colonization options that use them are replaced with similar options utilizing the vessels. To create these vessels, you need a habitable planet and consciousness delivered from outside the rift. Again, for a certain definition of consciousness. Uh, you cannot produce food inside the rifts. We can build phase shifters, allowing one connection from each side of the rift. Shifters cannot be connected to each other. Okay, important to note. Uh, the mind extractor is built as an upgrade on the phase shifter structure. Converts people into pure consciousness, ready to be uploaded into vessels on the other side. So we're going to score based on successful planets and vessels inside the rifts. Okay. So, the Vittori. Obviously, I like the Vittori very much. They have a number of really strong technologies, quantum sensors, etc. Uh, we've also been given solar superconductors. That's interesting. The slip amplifier, which is the worst version of this thing. It does upgrade the distances more than... Um, the passive tech does, but it's a project you have to build on planets, thus preventing you from building other projects. And while it does reduce the cost to build slipways by 15% to and from that planet, you're also paying 10 credits from it up front, and it's rarely saving. In the late game, it can be, when the, when slipways get really expensive. Uh, biphasic plants allows production of food on planets inside the rifts. I believe this is the first technology that we've seen that's specific to these scenarios, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, infra oh, infrawave stations are just like super effective probes. Uh, orbital labs. I have a hard time with orbital labs for reasons we've discussed previously. Okay, wave augmentation. This is the, the passive tech, which is obviously great. We have access to enlightenment. Resources crossing to the other side of the rift earn an additional $2.00 and grant one science to laboratories. That's really interesting. I'm surprised that the, um, yeah, the number of technologies they have that are specific to this scenario. I guess it kind of makes sense though, because, you know, they are the, they're the quickly developing technology faction. Uh, quantum computing, as always, really, really fantastic. 
Rift bouncing enables phase shifters to bridge locations on the same side of the rift. Also enables connecting phase shifters together. Okay, weird. And then, yeah, a bunch of the stuff that we're, we're familiar with. Matter transposition, skill up facilities. That's a great one. Uh, time dilation is really good. So obviously here, like, producing a lot of technology as early as possible is really great. But also you have to be careful because laboratories cost upkeep. So it's important to keep stuff running. Um, important to keep your trade routes upgrading and whatnot. Uh, we have access to applied science, which feels like... The, this is the only thing we have that's going to boost our income. I think there are no income technologies in here at all. So that feels important. Uh, careful observation is wonderful. It does, it does save you a lot of time by letting you not have to shoot a lot of probes. Uh, scientific fleet is, is, a, is one I like very much and it combines quite well with applied science, I think. Researchers, three times per game, you can invent a technology from any tier. In theory, you could use this to reach into the future to grab a tech, but that is pretty unlikely to work because of the um, the bulb cost of technologies in the future. It's much more common you use this to go back and grab one extra thing from an earlier tier, and we've already seen several situations where that would have been a useful thing to be able to do. Uh, and scholars, just start with an additional 10. This is probably way less science over the course of the game than Scientific Fleet is, but you get it all up front. You get to start with quantum sensors effectively, which is a big deal. And especially if you have applied science, starting with an extra $40 on top of the, the benefit of the technology is very cool. But we're going to get to four pretty quickly anyway, especially if we get to connect to a forebear ruin. And I, I think we're going to want just a very large number of technologies overall. I think the delayed value of scientific fleet is high enough that we should take that over the other thing. Okay, what else? Uh, mineralize, mass reactors, which is extremely fun. Gravitic tugs, which is very good. Geo harvesting, obviously great. Economic zones, less exciting. Hyper dense architecture. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to turn out to be better here than usual. I'm just thinking, like, if we have... We have effectively two, two sides of this puzzle, right? There's the normal space side and the rift side. And we're not going to be able to send things from one side to the other, so it might be more useful, potentially, to allow planets to double feed. So we're going to have a, a much lower diversity of sources. Plus, I think hyperdense architecture is a cool tech, and we haven't actually managed to make use of it at all yet. So let's like cautiously say this. Uh, disease eradication and two terraforming technologies that we used last time. Obviously, these are these are all good. Good, not great, I would say. A remake's pretty good. Remake might be great. Uh, flexible fab is wonderful. So we have access to enlightenment. But flexible fabrication is definitely better than enlightenment in a couple of ways. First of all, it lets you offload the, you know, they're both projects that you have to build. But flexible fab is a project you build on the forge world where you're unlikely to have another project you want to run. Uh, people worlds are a very high value source, a very high value place to put projects. A lot of the good projects want to run on people worlds or literally can only run on people worlds so freeing up that slot is valuable and then also repurposing gives you an extra trade route completion on both the source planet and the target of the goods planet where obviously uh, enlightenment only gives you effectively a trade route completion on the planet you build it on so i would generally rather be using this than enlightenment i think and then we have like miniaturization and bio extraction. So I think the question is like of these three, flexible fab, hyperdense architecture and mass reactors, which two do I want to take? And I think I think they're all very good. But I am wondering, I'm wondering if the answer is maybe drop flexible fab for mass reactors. It's tricky to level up 
mineral planets sometimes. Uh, so, sometimes. Sometimes is a fair thing to say. Also, energy. Energy is energy, right? Like, I probably don't have to make a strong case for energy. And this doesn't have any overlap with, um, any particular overlap with enlightenment at all. So, yeah, it feels like we're going to be able to get good value out of all of our toys here. So let's just try it. Let's just see. Okay, so we have... Okay, I was kind of imagining in my head that it was going to be like the... It was going to be one sort of solid rift border. I guess it's like portions of our space are rifted off. That's... Okay, we can work with that. Let's start by just getting some intel here and possibly some early science. Obviously, I would love to see a forebear ruin. No such luck, it looks like. You know, sometimes if you just tell the game out loud what you want, it'll it'll deliver, at least consider delivering. Is there really... Are these so perfectly placed? Yeah, I just can't quite get those two uh, signals at once. That's fine. We can search this. Wow, this feels... Um, this feels like a kind of a rough start. Okay, so... We can do robots to food here. Make that a biomass world and, and settle on this Arctic world. Um, alternatively... Biomass to food... And then this does robots to water. I don't know if I think either of those are particularly like better than the other. I don't know. Let's let's do this one. I like I like having the food world be sort of out toward this non-rifted area of space. That's really the like the difference for me. Building the food here seems kind of crummy because we can't even we can't do people in these places, right? Yeah. So yeah, this I think this this puts a food world in a, a spot that's more likely to be usable by future planets. Uh so None of the stuff we set up here is going to be two-way. We may as well just go ahead and run it the way we're going to run it. So, our tasks. Uh, establish a lab studying particular resource. And this will probably, probably be different every time we are offered labs. Uh, and get it to some number. Improve yearly science output by some number. Invent two new technologies. Get one more remnant planet. Obviously, we're moving toward some technologies pretty quickly quickly here. I wonder if we should grab this. I'm trying to think like what is going to scale up in the most difficult way. This one's going to get pretty difficult at some point. The the invent new technologies one, I think, although it would be very easy to complete it early, I also think it will be relatively easy to complete it as the last one. It's going to scale up to like four or five techs potentially. But if we're doing this the way I usually do it, we're going to be able to get a lot of technologies in the late game. I'm not too worried about that one scaling up to last. We probably want to time the improve your yearly science output task for around when we're taking quantum computing. So establish a lab and get remnant planets to prosperous, I think, are more interesting early ones. And a prosperous planet early on is pretty hard to come by. I'm also afraid to let this one scale too much. Hmm. Maybe we do take this one and we just try to tough it out as much as possible. This number will be easier to reach once we have quantum computing. The number will go up, but it won't go up fast enough to actually be more difficult. I think I am going to... Alright, we're going to try something ambitious here. It's possible I will have to start over. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to see about that. I'm going to try to get this done while it's still just one... Because I feel like remnant planets, that's not one we... That's the wrong... <clears throat> that's got to be biomass to food. That's pretty important that we get that right. 
I feel like biomass is or um, remnant planets are one that we do not get completed very often. Okay, cool. Although uh, honestly, this one's doing pretty well. We could do biomass to resources here. We could set up a water lab actually. That would make this successful. <clears throat> might do, might do. So how does the phase shifter work? So we build we build it on the edge of the rift and then we build connections to it. So this could be a goods world. Oh, these are different inside the rift. Okay, so vessels can directly make goods. Do vessels need goods? They do. Oh, how interesting. In order to produce a second point of goods, you only need one vessel. So if we made this a consciousness vessel world, send population from here to do consciousness stuff, which we do as an, it's an upgrade to the shifter. Then we can make this a goods world, connect goods to here. That might be a thing that's worth doing really early, honestly. Okay, interesting. Um, I can't do it right now. We are we are too broke to do it right now. What I should be doing right now is trying to find a couple more planets. There we go. So that we can get our first technology and get our first big pulse of money from our perk. And then... Okay, interesting. And we could do a people world right here and find out what that is. I'm I'm inclined to think that's the that's the play. Just gather a little bit more information though with our big information gathering probes. Okay. Shit gets a little sparse. Uh but Yeah, and then this world has easy access to goods. I like this a lot actually. This this rules. Okay. Um so people Let's go ahead and make this connection right now because I want to know. Yo, energy, energy producer. I love it. Set up that recycling operation. So we probably don't want to use that right now. We want to wait and see what it will be more useful for later. Uh, we have, okay, we have a source of water to feed the mine that we're about to set up and the... Um, and the remnant planet. This will be good export cash. Then we do one of these. Hey, a successful world. What do you know? What is my next technology? I'm not sure if we want solar superconductors here. I also am not sure if we're going to need biphasic plants, but we're going to have to make that decision remarkably early. Which is a shame. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do exactly. But it's it's probably not for a while. We're, pro we're probably looking at at least 12 science. So next big income boost is, is far away. However, we do have a couple of decent asteroids. Yeah, actually, a couple of very good asteroids. That can help us make it there. So I need at least one more output for this world to feed. And then we need to we need to push it a little bit. I am perfectly fine using energy from the Forebear Ruin to make sure that we can get to Prosperous here. But most critically, most importantly, we need three successful worlds connected to this before that's even a consideration. So, getting an extra point of people to this world is not going to be possible. Yeah, it doesn't, we can't connect there because it's going to go through the rift. Well, I mean, it says cannot cross rift edge. It's interesting that this just says not colonized, but I assume it would still be a problem. L let me just see. Let me just see. Yeah, okay. It still would not let us do that. 
That's what I figured. So that means we have to deliver, and I, I'm assuming I can't make this happen. Yeah, that roots that route actually cuts through the planet a little bit. Oh uh, shit. Okay. Well, maybe this is not our maybe this is not our our winner. Maybe it's this one. If we did robots to uh, Gaia World effectively here, that would flip this to successful. We probably can't get a second point of robots to this world, though. We can do this and should. This is this is a winner for sure. Oh, this world really, really desperately needs a second point of robots. And again, we run into the problem of there just not being a good way. We know we can't build robots inside the rift. It said that in the mission uh, briefing. So again, we run into this problem of there just not being a way to um, to get enough successful neighbors connected. We don't actually have the money right now to try setting up the goods scheme over here, which I would like to work out, but we can do this. We could try to make this work. Right, if we do chip world and then make this a water world, we can satisfy its basic needs. We can only send out one unit of chips though. Okay, that's a place where we could theoretically send a second unit of chips. That would allow this world to have a fair number of actual functional neighbors. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe could work. Obviously, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of hope coming off of that plan. No matter what, the Make a Remnant World Prosperous one was going to be the most difficult mission, right? That was for sure the case. Oh, interesting. Inside a rift, a Remnant World only has one option, and it's kind of a weird one. Huh. Well... Damn it, of course this world can't reach that one. Yeah, that's really interesting. I don't know quite what to make of that. Also, at some point we have to like have some labs, <laughs> right? Huh. Well, we have this very large and impressive rift area here, which is nice. I'm going to start building into the rift a little bit. Ah, this, shoot, this does eat our... Well, we have reasonable income. We don't need to be in such a hurry on the tech. I really need to establish some. So it's an upgrade on the thing. Okay, feed people into there. Get that. Do this. And then can I, I my assumption is that I'm not allowed to. I guess I should have tested that. We'll test. Uh, if I connect this to here, am I allowed to also... Okay, no. Because I, I figured that's what that tech is about, right? Letting you letting you form multiple connections to the same one. Okay. That was worth doing. If I had one of those rift-side remnant planets here, 
it would actually be um, pretty good. Like if this was a remnant world, because we could send vessels, we have chips, like. <sighs> Sadly, not a terribly useful, not a terribly useful way to think about it. Well, if only the circumstances were completely different than they are, right? All right, just get me some additional data here. Okay, I'm not allowed to use vessels as researchers. At least, if I if I am, it's not included in the tooltip anyway. So... Actually, having a pretty hard time here figuring out a situation where I could even set up a valuable lab. I guess if I had another point of robots here, that would produce another point of water. We could do a water laboratory, maybe. Hmm. So this world could get its minerals. I'm I'm still thinking about maybe this being the chip world. This world could get its minerals from there. This world can't realistically produce food. This world would be a total shot in the dark. We don't see another source of chips in this area, so it'd be really hard to use chips, to use a lab as the way of getting extra chips out of this world. Sure would be cool if that could happen, though. Okay, that's something. So what if... This is really awkwardly placed... We basically have to use this population for the lab, I think. Can I build the lab in the rift? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm planning on... I'm planning on using population and chips from this side of the rift, so that's probably not how I should do that. Okay, and we have the money to be able to afford um, to feed a laboratory. Right. Oh, shoot. If I do this, hold on. Maybe I want to um, place that lab differently because I still think I want to send energy from here to make the connections work on this. We have to get this to six. At least. Yeah, and then once this world's producing chips, it's not going to want chips, though. So how am I going to get a third successful neighbor? We really need another another people world over here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's doable. I think the pro one of the core problems here is it's just really hard to get this world to connect to three planets at all. We can produce water here and make that happen, but then we have no way of leveling up either of these planets. I don't know, y'all. I'm feeling pretty, um, feeling pretty doomed. All right. We have to commit at some point. I'm just going to go for it. Here's my brilliant plan. All right. Find me a source of food. Nope. Even if not obstructed, out of range. Okay. Keep looking. Hey, what do you know? Literally not a single food producing planet in the bunch. However, if we do research biphasic plants, this could be a food producer. 
this would have to be our population world. But we can probably make that work, actually. Is there water to be had over here? No. But there's water to be had here. Yeah, I can probably actually make that work. Okay, biphasic plants is the plan. That doesn't mean oh, that I can get away with not forming a lab, though. In fact, that makes it more essential. Actually, this is just not going to work, is it? Okay, you know what? Uh, apologies. I'm going to take this back to the drawing board. I think there were some things about that plan that were reasonable, but I might have to take those tasks in a different order. I think it's it's solid to not want to let the... Um... It's solid to not want to let the, the remnant uh, prosperity thing go last or go too late, but maybe it can go second. Because it is really, really tough as a first goal. Okay, that's cool. Getting some science right away is nice. No forebear ruins is a little bit of a shame, but definitely survivable. Okay, so... Obviously, I want to use the Forge World for goods. Pretty easy to do that from here. But I don't know how I would get food. The world that can produce robots over here can't reach any of the worlds that could produce food. Yeah, this is a very... Um, that's a challenging one. Hold on, let me get... More information. Not useful. Hmm. What I might do here is just make this a robot world and then send out more probes based on that and try to get some better information because... Can I get these two simultaneously? I cannot. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble here. Because I think that the set of starting worlds we've been given is, um, is bad enough to warrant a gamble. Okay, there's my fourth point of science. Okay, this is a little bit more workable. So we could just do... Um, Colony on the Earth like, make this the food world. And then this world can still reach back and do stuff for other worlds later. Yeah, I, I don't hate that. Set up something very basic here. So if I'm not going to take remnants first, maybe I take get a lab up early first because I should be getting a lab up early anyway like this is a high value plan this will help me motivate help motivate me to actually do it okay well we've got a very basic setup we've also got information gathering capacity Well, this didn't work out very well in terms of actually getting goods onto this world. Hmm. So I'm thinking ahead, trying to put myself in a position where I where I can succeed on the remnant thing in the near future. The task I took was a biomass lab. Hmm. Well, okay. 
So we have two biomass worlds potentially over here. A tricky thing about this, though, is that a four, a four science lab is going to be the initial pair of resources plus another one of the good resource of the, the real thing. And then on top of that, another one of that resource or another researcher. So we need to get four incomes to make a four science lab. That is crappy. So in order to make this area work, what we would need probably is another um, people planet to spawn a researcher from. Uh, could happen. Maybe. If we did people to robots, robots to biomass plus water. Still make this a Gaia world. Can I position a lab where it could be fed by? Yes. So then if this is also a people planet, then we can feed resources from just enough sources in to make that lab work. And honestly, getting the lab up this early is pretty dangerous in terms of what it's going to do to our income. But also having a lab up this early is going to be a source of income because it will, um, it will help us take advantage of our perk more frequently, right? So I'm going to make these connections. Let's get the biomass in immediately. Let's get as much science as we can out of this. Uh, and then we'll do that just to take advantage of the income from it before the year end. This. Send a point of population. Complete your task. Cool. This is already at two worlds. And it's only going to get more difficult. In a full run, how many prosperous remnant planets do I think I'm going to get? I don't think the answer is very high. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and take this now. We have to get it done. So this gets me the biomass I need. How am I going to... This is going to be a food world. And we're just going to have to figure out how to make that work. I think so. Oh, that doesn't give me the biomass I need until I spend the water. Shoot. Uh, crap and also darn it. Is what I say. Here, I have a cunning plan. Uh, I guess I would have to connect the person to here. My thought was we can generate a water need off of this planet. I have to connect the person here first. Which is really awkward. <sighs> okay, there's no way to generate robots. Y'all, I'm... <laughs> We're going to give this one more, one more go here. I got to get my brain on straight. Let me try this again. I'm just making, I'm making weird decisions. I'm trying too hard to bend my intention around getting things done quickly. Like we have mass reactors coming down the line. I'm going to have to rely on those, those energy resources, I think, eventually. So I think I probably just have to take it slow. I'm, I'm really trying to like run through things here, but I think there's some stuff we're going to do. We're going to have to do here that is just going to have to come slowly. That's a horrible, that's maybe the worst first probe ever. Okay. Did I accidentally put it on tough? This is not, this feels like tough planet generation. Hmm. Well.
So there are a few different ways we could approach this. If we make this the people world, it's very easy to get, it's very easy to do Gaia world into food. And then we can just pull chips from here. And presumably we will also have another chip need from this world at some point. That can sort of build toward the idea of this being a, a prosperous world at some point. I think I'm going to go ahead and just start that way. That feels like a pretty normal start. Let's take the lab thing first. Maybe not build the lab quite as fast as I did last time, though, because I really did run us all the way out of dollars. Also, again, just weird place to start with. Why was this not the first connection I made? What am I thinking? Am I thinking? Results so far today suggest that uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe the answer is not. Hmm. So... This being a water world would be pretty cool. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab our quantum sensors for sure. Yeah, if this is a water world, it can feed that and that. This is where the population for that comes from. Um, alternatively, I guess this could be our water world, couldn't it? And then that leaves this open to be a food world. Which is maybe more sensible because we have like robots around it. We don't know how we would connect everything yet, but there's a version of that that makes sense. Can you reach that? Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's adding up. All right. So we do this. This asteroid, I believe, is in the way and also it's high value, so... Uh, we make you one of those. We do this and this. And there we go. Functional. Already up to nine planets. Nothing successful yet. Uh, this being a goods world would make a lot of sense. So the question is, is this a mineral world or a chip world? If it's a mineral world and we do minerals to goods, that does make things a lot easier as far as potentially turning this, uh, using the, the energy thing on this world to maybe make it prosperous. I think I like that quite a bit. So minerals from remnant world. What did I take? Okay, it is mineral world. Okay, you, we could get a mineral lab going. That's a thing that could happen. We do this first. Minerals, goods, goods, chips. Feeling pretty good about that dis distribution of resources there. Uh, okay. This won't work, right? Yeah, that's a shame. So this world can't be fed from here, but it could be fed from up here, and this world becomes a people world trivially. So we already have the food. We just prosperous the world in year six. Uncommon. And actually, I think it makes a ton of sense to just do this right now, right? Oop, nope, don't probe. Connect, 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 and connect. That felt like a pretty smooth approach. We have an asteroid here that we don't need to blow up right now, but we can blow up soon. And honestly, we're not that far from this. All right, here's hoping. Uh, let's do a little bit more exploration. We are going to need more information about the stuff that's going on over here. Okay, interesting, interesting. 
going to be tricky to get water to this world. Can we get... Okay, we can pull water off of this Earth-like. But we would have to have vessels to go to it, which we can't actually do. Mm, actually, yeah, the way this whole area is shaped is really awkward. This could produce water for that as well. This could be a people world if we can find a way of generating... If we can find a way of generating chips nearby. Which we can't. But in the long run, we might be able to... Oh, probably not. This world can't read... Well, okay... This world wouldn't have to reach this world directly. So what I'm thinking is once we have mass reactors, this could produce a point of energy which hits this world as the point of chips, allowing this world to send out consciousness to vessel this world for water to upgrade that world to get an extra point of minerals to send minerals this way. And then this world is on the edge of becoming prosperous. Um, also, this world's already on the edge of becoming prosperous, but we're going to have to figure... So, like, we have to make this connection. It has three successful neighbors, and it's on five total imports and exports. So, if we just did, like, a chip lab somewhere, that could do it. Oh, dude. Uh, the reactor thing is going to be so good on remnants in the rift. I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's going to be wonderful. Could I place a lab in a position where... No. What I, what I want is to use population from here and chips from there. Looks not doable. Okay, we don't have to be in a huge hurry on that. I do think maybe I set this up even though we don't have the chips anytime... Or we don't have the energy anytime soon... Because getting this world flipped is gonna create it's gonna create a bunch of trade routes. This world's gonna sit here and be unhappy, but it's gonna generate us a lot of potential money. Okay, so we wanna do that, we wanna do this. Feed the consciousness. Wait, did I? We have to get vessels going into the oh, hold on. My plan is not real. Sorry. I need to create vessels somewhere inside the rift and then send those vessels here to produce the water. I was sh I was going to try to just do a straight pass through of population. Turn it. I thought I, in my head it was turn them into vessels at the um, at the rift station. OK. So, no, we still don't quite have a clean plan there then. That's a real shame. We're so close to a real plan. And shifters cannot be connected to each other. So we can't, like, produce vessels here and then bridge them across the non-rift space. Which would be super helpful. However, you know, once we have mass reactors online, we can do a thing. Okay, let's let's explore this way. Let's see about making making a chip lab over here potentially functional. Cuz it would be cool to have a couple of early labs up and then when we pick up the increase your total science output by x task and fire quantum computing, it can it can push really hard. It'll do a much better job with multiple labs obviously. So we can have chips from here, chips from there. Population might be a problem. I suppose once we have wave augmentation, we might be able to generate that lab position that I want. Maybe. The other option we have is making this a people world somehow. Which, if I'm planning to make this world produce chips, doesn't seem totally unreasonable. I don't know how I would get food, though. Oh, also, I should probably do this. Well, I guess if we're thinking we're going to use this point of population for the lab, maybe we hold off and we do that later. But 
even with wave augmentation, the distance just isn't going to work, right? Okay, hold on. I'm going to destroy this. We need this out of the way. Because it's a 30% boost. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I bet it totally is going to work, actually. Never mind what I'm saying. I think it is going to be fine. Uh, so to make that work, we do need vessels on this side, which is to say we definitely do want to produce population over here. It's basically got to be one of these two worlds. <clears throat> and either one of these two worlds can feed two different consciousness generating rifts to feed both of these. We do need water as well, but we can get water. I guess actually it would be best to have it be this world and this world generating the vessels because this world needs biomass and this world needs water. So one of them sending vessels to here would solve both of those problems. Hmm. It's going to be tricky no matter how we do it. Okay, anyway, trying to set up this lab. I think we have to wait until next year anyway, because I think we need wave augmentation. What I can do is end the year by placing the lab down in a position that I think is going to work. So, okay, I'm finding where the edge of the gravity well is. So let's call it there. Then we pick up wave augmentation and we test. Okay. When we put goods into this world, it will generate one more point of population. That point of population will go here. So that's science. And then do I want to go ahead and connect this right now as well? I'm committing to something there, but also like I, you know, I want I do want the science in income. Just enough science to connect that. Okay. So there's another three. And in theory, this. Do I have to get... I have to get water to this world as well? Oof. So actually, I want, I, I want this to be my vessel world. So then we do this thing and we move water there and biomass here, which means that the population connection has to be up here at the lowest. I can't come in this way because I need to be able to draw a triangle. So that means it's more likely that this is the right. I, guess I can't without having settled this, I can't even test where I would like the thing to go. It's more likely that I have to use this world to feed the population in then, which is awkward because I wanted to use population off of this world to power the lab up a little bit. Maybe the actual answer is that I need a people world up here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, could happen. We have a source of water right there or food, whichever is more convenient. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't have a source for the, or I don't have a need for the minerals here. I could send the minerals over there. I'm just trying to think ahead of how we how we would make this prosperous, because it's got to be one of these two, right? I want to I want to get one of these two prospering as fast as possible. And I'm not too unhappy about seven science income as we're as we're leaving year eight. I think that's pretty solid. Our next technology. You know, honestly, it could be mass reactors. We could do mass reactors next. It's a very expensive project to build, but it solves a lot of our problems. Hmm. Maybe, maybe.
do we even want biphasic plants? So far, we're not really seeing a critical need for it. Could potentially ease some weirdness we're having over here, and it is a nice, cheap technology. I'm just thinking, when uh, two tacks from now, we will not have access to it anymore. So if we want to pick it up, we do have to do so relatively soon. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, SB, if you're gonna reset the game a couple of times, maybe you ought to play faster than this. Or maybe this episode's just gonna be three hours. I don't know. My impression is that people, like, people watch my content as sort of, like, chill-out time stuff a lot, so maybe three hours of me making consideration noises is not, like, a terrible product. Maybe. <laughs> so we do have another Remnant World over here that's close to a lot of stuff. I don't know that I think that's going to be... Okay, if we were trying to flip this world, how would we do it? Well, first thing, can this connection work? Oh, it can. Okay, so that gets us a third friendly neighbor and an extra point of resources. That's very good. Actually, if we if we can just get this a point of water in basically any way, it flips. It's worth doing almost no matter what. How would I do it? We could produce water in here if we had a vessel, which we don't. We could produce water in here if we had a vessel, which we don't. We could cheat the requirement for having a vessel <clears throat> with mass reactors, obviously. But we can't, first of all, you can't just use, oh, well, actually, never mind. I was going to say, I'm pretty, you can't just use energy produced on a planet on that planet, but also you have to have a spare point of minerals to produce the energy in the first place. Secondly, um... We don't have any population or anything over here, which would make it really awkward. If I settle this world, if I settle this world, I'm committing in a pretty serious way. But we could do, like I said, we could do the thing where we make this. If I people world here. to send a person to there, to mass reactor this world, to send energy to there. That would flip this world, because then we could dump the sixth point of resources on Blue Nose 3, and we're good. We got food for this. I guess I could reactor this distance. Yeah, I could, I could send the the point of minerals to here as energy instead to cover the chip shortage. Oh, that's actually not bad. Now, obviously, none of that works until we have mass reactor, and that's not that close. It does mean that my next tech is definitely mass reactor. We can set up some of it right now, but I think the utility of doing so is relatively limited. Then we just have a couple of like unhappy planets not really generating any money. So we'll come back to that. But that's the plan once we make it to 26 research. <laughs> so in the meantime, we can try to make this stuff work. We can try to figure out a way to make this stuff work. I wonder, can you just turn this into energy and have it serve as a, as consciousness? Can you turn energy into vessels? Because if you can, the shit in here gets real easy. And otherwise, we don't even have a use for this mineral. I could send it out to there, but it doesn't, even, it doesn't really feel like a useful thing to do. So actually, this might be under control once we get mass reactors as well. So where else can I do just, like, stuff that's useful? We do have to start um, like making worlds inside rifts actually work, right? So let's let's maybe focus on that. 
how do I generate some food around here? Because I'm going to need to send population through the rifts, right? So it's pretty easy to generate a lot of things near the rift, but not really, not really population at the moment. Here, let's, um, let's scan these. So this is the only world in the area that can host people. But it needs both water and food, and there's only one world in the area that can do either of those things. It's the same, it's the same world. Uh... You're going to have a hell of a time making this a people world. The minerals are easy enough to get, but we have other problems. So we would, we would send people to consciousness, make this a vessel world, use the vessel world to get minerals to send back. It's not a cheap move either. Yeah, and we just have no food. Hmm. I need to build out. I need to find a way to get out of here. Uh, I mean, once this is a people world and we're sending one unit of people over there, we can make this a vessel world, but we can't then do anything with it. Over here, we actually have the resources necessary to like do some vessel world stuff. If we could get population in here, but we can't. We can hope that this could be a population world, but that's a lot of guesswork. I think we are most likely to be able to make this planet work somehow, but it really is a lot of guesswork. We might have to go back and pick up biphasic plants if we do this. I'm going to do it. So first of all, may as well. Uh, secondly, show me this. Ah, a time rewinder. Neat. That's actually pretty good. That's a, that's a useful find. So we'll be able to get chips from here eventually. That'll cover part of it. Then we need to figure out the food situation. Kind of a distant concern. Two years until mass reactors. So we probably just hold off on this for right now. Get a little bit more information. We need water to make this a consciousness world. So this can produce consciousness, but it's not helpful. We can make this the consciousness world, uh, the, the vessel world, then send the vessels up to here for water, and then we have some extra resources being generated. That's going to push us over a threshold on Empire size, but I think that's fine. And it's not going to... Build, building one of these gates is not going to make us unable to... Um, Unable to get our research. Oh, right. I have to. Yeah. Uh, and then we do this. Connect there. Okay. We do have to start figuring out getting worlds on this, this side of the rift uh, functional, right? Uh, so we can make this a goods world and send the goods through. That seems like a thing worth doing. Building this phase shifter will actually bring us too low on science to do the research we need to do next year. So I think we probably want to do a little bit of probing to see if we can offset that. We don't have any particularly rich areas left. We have pretty good exploration at this point, sadly. Okay, so we're able to do that.
Okay, very little information. All right, let's get into some trouble. So, first things first. Make these happen. Send that there. Uh, food goes down here. Then we mass reactor one of these, send it here as water, and then make this connection. Oh, right, that gets prosperous without, well, I still need the chips though. This is, this is still important to do. And then this will generate another point of minerals that we can send here if we ever pick up um, energy-driven industry, which we almost certainly will, right? Because it's, like, broadly very good. Okay. So now we pick up this thing because that'll be... The, That'll be the more annoying of the two to have to do later. And that's how we're making our decisions. And now let's experiment in here. Oh, right. We have to have a unit of vessels here first. So I can't actually do that in that way. In the way I was thinking. Though we might. Hum, hum, hum. Uh, well... Does make things a little awkward. So this is potentially a source of chips and it could reach, but it would need minerals, which we can't really give it. Having committed the two points of population here does make this a bit of a challenge. Gosh, I wish I could just run this over here. Um, anyway, I was a, I was going to do this and I think I should, I think we should go ahead and make that connection. What's the next technology? It's this. Yes, of course. Um, so I need a science and I think we're, we're not particularly close. I think we are at four full scans away, four full planet scans away. So we're probably not actually going to get it early. Ah, uh, it's really awkward. Hum. <clears throat> so we're going to have to build another lab as well, probably. Um, yeah, we'll build a new lab and we'll run the, the science increase project on all three of the labs and that will do it. I don't know what we will build a lab for. It won't have to be a very good one. But right now, we do not have a lot of spare people. So we got to be pretty cautious with that kind of stuff. Population is actually a bottleneck for us right now, which is a little unusual. Okay, a thing we could do. Maybe screw upgrading this planet. This one's never going to get prosperous, even if it has three successful neighbors. We pick up Enlightenment. Use the extra point of population here to make this a vessel world. It needs chips, which is super annoying. But it sends vessels in here and makes this world not miserable, at least anymore. And then once that's done, we can make this an energy world. Ah, shit, but this will need chips before it actually produces its initial point of resources. Yeah, why you gotta be like that? Okay. Um, I guess if we did the, um, the Rift Edge thing... Oh, gosh. The way this Rift border is shaped... I would like to get the point of population from here to there. And I don't know if we can. Yeah, that's a problem. How are we going to vessel this? 
Okay, okay, here. Here we have a spot. This will absolutely allow us to reach that, which will then provide vessels to there. So I think I'm going to grab Enlightenment now. I mean, I kind of want to hold off. I really, I really don't want to pick anything up before quantum computing. I guess I'm not in a hurry. We'll be fine. Um, so maybe the next thing to think about is just the lab. Just stop, stop jumping all over the place. <laughs> Focus down a little bit and figure out that lab. Where can we build a lab that will work? Uh, oh, now that we know there's an earth like down here, we actually could get some population going in this area, which eases the vessel situation a little bit. Or just allows us to build population. So what do I have? I have right now I have chips and minerals. So we could do biomass, maybe. I have a spare unit of biomass over here. What are these worlds? Are these blips? Probably not even worlds. Okay, interesting. I did get a point, so I guess we go ahead and take this now. And... I do want to do the project, even though it's going to hurt our income somewhat, because obviously we want the bulbs. Uh, this does make things a little bit awkward. It would be easier to do a water project. A water lab, but... I mean, there are two water-producing worlds nearby, but this one probably has to be food, actually, which means we just end up with an ocean planet up here that produces water. Maybe eventually this world can produce a second point of water. I don't exactly know how that would um, how that would end up happening. Okay, I guess we have this group of worlds here, though. That's interesting, right? So what if? What if I make this also one of these? Send the body down there. Shoot, don't do that. Because I don't want the point of water to go into that planet right away. I guess I can't get population to this anyway. So I, w I wouldn't be able to use that for anything. Shoot. This is really difficult. Okay, okay, how about this? Go ahead and set this up. Make it a biomass world. Or make it a biomass lab. Send biomass from here. Like we put the lab down here somewhere or over here or something. Down here I would like. Is there a way to make that work? Uh, oh, I don't have the science necessary to establish the rift things right now. I'm going to go ahead and build the triangle out here. I think I, I think I have an idea for how to make this work. So let's do that. Then... How far up here do I have to go? Oh, well, this is... That's an annoying problem. Get out of my way. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we do lab down here. People and biomass and biomass. There we go. Tech discount. And then invent three new technologies. In the next 14 years, somehow managed to invent three new technologies. We are all tasked up. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about our position. Okay. What's, uh, what's going on over here? Okay. That's a world that can, that can produce people. Obviously, like goods factory here would be, would be really cool. We need to get biomass in there somehow, and I'm not 100% sure how we would do that, but whatever. 
Okay, so... Two attacks to advance. I think I want both Enlightenment and Exotic Matter. This will bump down because it's a derived um, tech. Phase modulation also seems good. I think these two, we, we bump both of them. So I really don't want to pick up self-hosting AI right now, even though it feels like a terrible waste not to grab it as soon as possible because we desperately want both of these. And if we, if we grab this, um, one of these will push the other one out of our tech thing. I'm going to get exotic matter first because that's just three points of science for free, basically. That's as good in our situation as grabbing self-hosting AI would have been, but also it generated money for us. And then, yeah, cool, good. Uh, when we pick up hyperdense architecture, we can send this point of population up to here, and that's another successful world for the um, for the thing. And actually, that'll um... oh, so it has to have. Th trade with three other planets probably planets that are on the other side of the thing on the other side of a phase shifter count right fingers crossed otherwise we'll never be able to make that prosperous not that i guess we care terribly already at four prosperous planets over here without even like completely by accident um yeah anyway <laughs> sorry <laughs> really easily distracted uh we could send population from here over to there to be vessels and then power that up. We do have to solve this problem at some point. And I guess that point is like relatively now-ish. Well, sorry, I'm still waiting on enlightenment to solve this part of it, I guess. Yeah, so we'll need that, uh, which we'll be able to get next year. No problem. How long does it take to build a phase shifter? It's a month. I'm going to go ahead and do some of the prep work on this. So this becomes... Yeah, this becomes that. We're going to need this thing. Uh, we will need the upgrade here. Sorry, we need to actually grab enlightenment. Do enlightenment. Send the point of population over. There we go. Now we don't have so many miserable planets anymore. And now we can connect this here and how do I make this work? Shoot. Because when we move the second resource off of this planet, it's going to upgrade. Oh, it's going to gain... Yeah, see, this is the problem. We need to move the energy off of this world to get it to flip. But if we send the energy to this world in its current state, it's going to replace the chip need, right? That's what we found last time was that it, it replaces the first need, not the food need. And then we're going to have extra chips, but we're not going to have a useful place to put them. I really, if I could get the energy to, to replace the food need, that, that is really what we want. I could use the energy to, to produce food here, I guess. That's how we have to do it. So we go here. Connect. Connect. Energy. Connect. Do that. Sorry. Undo. This connection has to already be established or else the the chip goes flying off of this world. Okay, so we'd send that there, and then I get to choose where this chip goes, and it needs to go here, and that's really important. Okay. <laughs> cool. Good. And we got ourselves another success... How many successful worlds do I need inside the rift for full points? 18! <clears throat> full points! Seems tricky on this one. Uh, okay, so a thing we can do is if we get this... Oh, I don't have to get this goods. What am I talking about? We have enlightenment. So once we have... Um, let me grab self-hosting AI before I forget. Somehow we pulled it off. <laughs> when we pick up hyperdense, we can 
enlighten this world to have it gain a vessel and then send that vessel here, that'll make both of these successful. So that's good for our count. Uh, over here. We want to make this a vessel world for the same reasons. So that we can send... Because we can, we can send an extra body. I guess this world ends up producing... Well, it has to get all the way to Prosperous first, though. That's not going to happen. Never mind. So this world's probably never going to produce a fourth vessel. So we will need a, f a vessel for this world, which theoretically comes from here. But we have to give this world chips in order to make that happen, which is really awkward. Hmm. Well, let me do this. Hold on. Let me consider whether that makes sense. Because I'm running us out of population again, which is always risky. But I guess, actually, never mind. Because I'm totally going to do this, and then I'm going to do that. And then we have another point of population available. <laughs> um, yeah. Did I... Oh, right. I was looking at the numbers. I was like, why is this only seven when that's eight? Did I forget to build something? But right, this is not receiving a resource through a portal. That's why. Uh, so. We'll get water down here eventually, and that'll let us turn this into an energy. Uh, turn the, the third point of minerals into an energy, and then we can fix that. Um, I guess I may as well enlightenment here two which gets that a little bit happier so we could make this a riftside colony ah it needs biomass though not super easy to do actually hold on testing ah Okay, maybe that is doable. So we can send a point of energy over. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> no, I won't be able to do that, though, huh? Because, again, because of the lock here, because of the fact that these needs have to be met before the first point of vessels exists, I won't be able to build the reactor on this world because the world has to be at least established. There has to be a point of vessels coming in here already. That's, <clears throat> sorry, misclick, <laughs> not what I was trying to do. All right, so we're close to stuff working out over here, but close is not sufficient. Let's have a look down in this rift area. We don't know anything about this. And we do have raw population over here, so it would be very easy to, to get some stuff built up. Okay, interesting. So we could definitely colonize either one of these worlds with vessels. What would we want to... I mean, I just need to create success, right? So we make this... This world's going to want water, which we can get from here. So we want to make this the... Yeah, okay. This is the world that receives the consciousness. Alright, connect there. And then this and that and that. And we can definitely make some success occur here. Uh, but first, hyperdense architecture. Okay. Oh, right. This is a project. So I can't cheat the goods need and also do that. We still want the hyperdense architecture. There are other places where it's useful, like here. I don't know. You build the hyperdense architecture on the planet you want to receive on. Okay. So hyperdense here. Enlightenment here allows me to do this. Cool. Hmm. 
and resources that are turned into consciousness at the gate means that this thing's trading with the gate, not with this world, so it doesn't have a third successful neighbor. But this world reads as having a third successful neighbor. So connections through a phase shifter that don't involve that exchange do count. That's really good to know. Okay, yeah, interesting. Uh, I think we want to go ahead and build this here as well. So we're creeping up, we're creeping up. Um, this would allow me to connect phase shifters together and also to use them as mirrors. It is a shame we can't get this water over to there. If I build this just on the right, I'm like, I'm kind of wondering if there's like a, a line that essentially runs tangent to this, uh, to this rift that I could connect these through, but I think the answer is no. All right, it's fine. Uh, so I think I want to go ahead and make this, all oh, right, the chips, right? I needed the, the energy for, I had a whole plan. Um, we want to do enlightenment here and then hyperdense there and send the second point over. And then if we can get rid of this biomass somehow, we can flip this world over. If we can get rid of the minerals here somehow, we can flip this world over. And we're not that far off of this world being prosperous and producing another vessel, which obviously is great for us. Okay, there's a way to spend a mineral. So if I enlighten this world, we can send off another point of population to like here to become consciousness for this world. But we need, okay, there is water. This is, this is a jungle, not a swamp. Yes, I think we should do that. And then we can do minerals to goods here, send goods to this world. If I had realized this was here, we could have sent goods to that world too, which actually would have been really helpful. Because as it is, we're going to have a really hard time upgrading this world now. Well, whatever. We'll find another. We'll figure it out. Um, but I think this is worth doing. Producing vessels for fun and profit. Uh, okay, so at this point, I'm been, I've been saving for time dilation. So we took that now. There's another one that increases the number of each of months by three, so it gives us even more time. It's not going to give us more time years and as such it's not going to give us more science because our science is on a yearly income but it does allow us to um to make a larger number of total moves over the course of the game which may not be necessary but i want it anyway so don't judge me <laughs> um do we intend to do another world over here because if we do i don't even need the hyper dense architecture we can just send a second point of <laughs> How am I going to get rid of this biomass? I need I need a world that needs biomass.
I do really want to settle another um, population world over here because I would love to get this point of goods off of this world. We need another source of actual people outside of the rift as well, though, which is perhaps complicated. Like, this could be useful? Hard to say. <laughs> Let me make absolutely sure this is a thing that can't work. <gasps> I think, oh, I think it does work. Oh, right, I don't actually have the tech yet. <laughs> but when I buy it, that will totally work. Okay, that rules. That's very fun. We're not going to have that tech for a while, though. Uh, we also have this still upcoming. Probably probably very much an endgame thing. Uh, okay, what else makes sense? We could, we could do vessels over here. Yeah. I, okay, that, that adds up. I think that's a good play. So I will need to do this and this. We will also need to do this. I just kind of assumed this would make sense. Does this make sense? I don't know. Uh, this will never produce another point of population. So... Do we have a way of getting people over here? I guess if this is a water world, it takes care of the water needs of this planet. And then it's just a matter of finding any source of food over here. Which we don't. That does not happen. I can bounce food from here to there eventually. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Okay. I'm gonna stick to the plan. Forty-eight, huh? Okay, there we go. We're getting some extra months. Look at all the time I've got. Uh, so, I need chips to make this work. Well, ah, but that needs minerals. Why has everything got to be so complicated? There's got to be a better way. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. I need one more planet. Okay, we have enough science now to build another gate. <laughs> Which I think we are going to need. What does this need? It just needs Oh right, it has no neighbors that are doing well, because this whole area is kind of a kind of a weird thing. Okay, well we'll get there. How many vessels do I need to max out again? 26? Not really even that much above the base value. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. We have a lot of months remaining, is the thing. Uh, oh, I should probably blow that. Okay, just, you know, get it out of the way. So we do need to set up some more bodies in some more places. How am I going to manage... Okay, a planet that wants biomass. When I deliver the biomass from this world, it will produce a second point. Now that's very interesting. Because that could cover our food needs as well, potentially. Oh no, there's actually no point where those worlds... Shoot. How, how is this possible? How is it that there is nowhere where this gate can connect to the biomass world and to the... Um... Oh, actually, hold on a second. 
It just won't show connections at the same time. Hold on. Yeah, that totally works. That's really strange. It will show um, it will show one set of connections while it's moving and the other set of connections when it's stopped is how it works. I don't know why that would be that way. Uh, okay, so I think we can go ahead and grab this now. Discounted because the Vittori respect you. Well, that's a fun change of pace. Being respected. <laughs> is this what that feels like? Uh, okay, so my plan was to make this people world. We use our two extra science to send biomass to here. And then we got food for it as well. Okay, this is a place where we can deposit more people on this side of the rift. Will this... Okay, this could still mass reactor. This will never produce a, more chips than it has coming out of it right now, but we could mass reactor it to Boreth to, to serve the water need. That said, I am out of science. <laughs> Until next year. Or until we do some more probes. Although, I think, again, we are running a little short on things that are likely to be planets. Okay, there we go. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and, um, and start building this. So, let's connect the people first. Uh, this connection, mass reactor, okay, cool. Uh, and then I need to send one point of mineral, one point of robots from here to flip this. I can actually make this world also successful, can't I? Right, because if we do this, send this here then drop off a point of mineral oh it needs water hmm. right if it needs water i'm not gonna be able to do that so let's let's not do that there does it make more sense to actually doesn't really make more sense to do it anywhere else um if i did it here We would never be able to get rid of two points of biomass. I could get rid of at most one. So this world could never be successful. This world can also never be successful. So there's no sense in doing it. Like the, the play is just this then, right? Okay, so we're up at 16 vessels with 10 happy rift planets we almost we almost have a star <laughs> this would be a really fun place to plug in some consciousness not gonna be able to do that from there this doesn't need anything but consciousness to produce vessels so actually and I have plenty of science. What is my next thing? Oh, my next thing is probably energy-driven industry, right? Because we can we can flip some stuff over out here. I guess this is less critical, though. Yeah, I'm not sure if that matters. Um, we can, at this point, make this thing work, right? So I have to get the water across to here. Then I have to mass reactor we have to move a point of population from here into into the ash machine let's be honest that's what it is to do this oops then we connect 
I don't think it matters which side that one ends up on. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Do this. Run this point of energy through here. Cool. Cool, dope, excellent. Uh, happiness plus money is available. Slipstream relays are available. Um, other stuff that we, we haven't really talked about. Technocracy is just going to produce us enough happiness. I don't know exactly how much we need to win, but we're going to get there. Um, I do need I do need food here still. Oh, right, right, right. I was going to use Rift Mirroring for that. I'm just, I'm noticing that we're still suffering. We can fix that real fast. Okay, cool. Uh, and then this world can feed stuff down here so we can, we can get more successful planets. Uh, do we just want to build hyperstructures here to flip that? Or does that vessel have a greater purpose? Well, hmm. I don't know. The answer is I don't know. Hold on. Um, let's... Do we phase shift or do we just enlighten? So right now this world has... Uh, no, it does not have past shortage points built up on it. Somewhere we have penalties for planets having at some point had no resource incomes. Um, and those, those points will wear off, I believe, at a... Okay, so here's one of them. I think they fall off at a rate of one unhappiness per year. So those six points will go away mostly before the end of the scenario. They may they may entirely go away before the end of the scenario. So that would have to be minerals. We gotta, we gotta keep flipping stuff here. Um, or we could just make it a goods world. <laughs> if I made this a goods world and then I hyper-structured this, would it eat two points from each of those worlds? No, only one additional unit can be supplied this way. Okay. So I do kind of want this to be ship world then. So we can flip this one and that one. Are any of these uh, mineral planets by any chance? No. We could use this. Or actually, I could just directly use this one. Right? That'll, that'll reach. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, what am I... Sorry. Chips. There we go. Okay, so chips in. We hyperstructure this world. Hyperdense this world so it can eat that. And then we hyperdense this world so it can eat the other vessel. There we go, two happy ones. <laughs> All right, so our, we are we are an actual win now. Now it's just running up the score. Seven more vessels, six more successful planets. Look at this. This is this is the canvas on which we shall paint our masterpiece up here. I think. Although it's going to be tricky to get population up there. <laughs> Okay, so next actual meaningful technology. Transpose is potentially valuable. Um, unlocks using robots as people is also actually potentially valuable because we definitely have some places where we could produce robots closer or we have, we have some spare units of robots nearby already that we could turn into sentience, although I guess this is not a very good example. Um, nor do we actually have a <laughs> nor do we actually have a very good example anywhere. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Is this stuff changeable? How would we how would we work this? If we wanted to make some of this stuff into happy little areas. We have a source of ships, but it's gonna be kind of weird to use it. So we could settle up there or up here. And then we could do a goods trade. We need a second point of mineral income. Yeah, the only thing it accepts is mineral income. Well, we could hyperstructure this planet and eat the other point of minerals off of here, actually. That's a totally reasonable way to do that. And in fact, we can flip that. I don't, flipping this world isn't even useful. I don't know what the value of that was. But yeah, let's just go ahead and hyperstructure this and take the other point of minerals. I mean, this. Okay. So now we now we export chips and we get um, we get a flip already. So that's very good. I should actually buy a tech. We also have teleporters. Sorry, we have access to teleporters. This is a thing we should be considering because we can use these to put the units of the things in the places that we need them to be in, <laughs> right? This doesn't have to be rocket surgery. Um, so, okay. If I were to build one of these to use it as a reflector, could I... No, the answer is no, I cannot use it to move these chips up to where they need to be. But we can use a fucking teleporter. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that I think that's the right thing to do. So, fucking teleporters uh, allows long distance trade regardless of obstacles. So we build a teleporter. We build them in pairs. So I do need to figure out how I'm going to get the population up here as well. If I make robots, we can get two robots out of a single point of population. But if I'm doing this this way, I probably want to connect it over here, right? Well, no, if I connect to this one or this one, more likely, we can get goods trade going and we can set up more happiness. So I might just populate, populate, teleport. I might just teleport. <clears throat> the point of population from here. But if we plan to pick up cybernetic bodies anyway, which we absolutely could do at the beginning of the year, then... Oh, let me let me enlighten this planet. We can just... We can produce more people, too. Okay, there is a limit on teleporter distance. That's important to note. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get started here. Let's go ahead and build that. We're gonna put the teleporter down and we're gonna try to put it in a place where it's not going to cause a problem for anybody. No chips and chips. Huzzah! Flip. What I like most about the chips is when they f the make the planets flips. That's a poem I wrote about space. It is for you. Uh, this rules. This is very good. Because we're going to be able to get the um, the minerals from here. The goods. Like, we're going to be able to create a, a, cluster, a tight cluster of successful planets, which is really great news. How are we doing on prosperity? We're at six right now? Okay. We can push to nine. I'm not too worried about that one. All right. Let's figure this out. So... We need to move a lot of population. I do want to use one of these points of population here. So let me figure this out. We can use two points of science to make that happen instead of researching um, slip relays. Okay, so now we have robots going to go ahead and pick up cybernetic bodies. Is it better to pick up cybernetic bodies and do this in a funny way than it is to just pick up slip relays and bounce my population to where they need to go? Fuck if I know. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm being very silly. Unlocks using people as robot. That's backwards. That's backwards from the thing I want. There is a tech that goes the other way that lets you use robot as people. 
I, that's I'm blaming that for my confusion. Okay, unbuild that phase shifter. We're just going to have to teleport the points of population then. So we're gonna build a, a teleporter here, pair it to a teleporter that's like, I'm, I'm, th I'm not building on the rift edge. That's not where the rift edge is. Okay, weird. Uh, population can't afford. What? How dare you? How dare you I run out of money, me? There's too many damn months in the year and slipways have gotten really expensive. Okay, so I must, there we go. Find a position where I will actually be able to make this work. Ugh. Okay, we did it. Uh, and then one of these. <clears throat> oh, you also need chips. Actually very doable, don't worry about it. I've got your back, I am broke. Um, is there anything I can research that's going to cause me to gain dollars? Yes. The Tailored Evolution Project. Ah, see, a problem with that is that a fair number of my people planets have enlightenment built on them already, which, yeah, is complicating. Um, hmm. So when we build anything, obviously, we're going to receive $40. Skill up's probably not the right move. Energy-driven industry lets me make some more connect. I'm going to do this. That's good to do, but it's not... Hmm. Maybe energy-driven industry isn't even valuable. Do I have, um, when I sent the energy out, do I have any people world or any vessel worlds that are receiving uh, energy? And the answer is yes. Okay, so that's good. Um, I should definitely have done this by now. That should have happened. And I guess I just want to hyper dense this to eat the other point of this so that we get, we have to hyper dense that and then we have to enlighten destroying asteroids. Can you believe this shit? I'm so broke. We had to. I have to pick a tech. Hold on. Transpose is gonna give me some freedom, but the ah, okay. This sorry. This is the one. There is a way to use robots. Is my brains? They're scrambled. This is what's happening. Um, I do. Yeah, give me this. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, so now I have a little bit of money. We can enlighten this planet and then hyperdense this planet, move this over here. Cool. I didn't even realize that that was going to happen, but that's very good. So we increased the number of vessels by one. We increased the number of successful planets by one. Great job. The thing is, our income's really good. There's just no fucking money left. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do this eventually. We may as well do it now. Get some more trade going. And then I'm also gonna do this. So I may as well do this. Connection. Gotta get the people up to there. So now I wish that I had this connection. We've gone so far that it'd be a huge pain in the ass to walk it back, though. Are you at maximum people output? You are. Hmm. I could build 50 teleporters and make this still function the way it was supposed to function. So many teleporters. I am not going to maximize. It hurts me. It hurts me to say these words. We only need two more successful planets. We're actually good. I'm not going to stress. I'm not going to stress. We're just going to teleport the one point of population. So I'm going to put it 
as far up here as I'm allowed to put it. And then this is going to end up in like a weird spot, right? Because, yeah, the there's a prohibition on building on the rift edge that applies way far away from the rift edge for whatever reason. Okay, cool. We can teleport stuff through the rift edge area. Even though it would be super mad at me if I tried to build a route there, that's a thing I was legitimately actually worried about. Kabam. And now we have to build this route, which we cannot afford. 53. So if I if I invent a technology right now, it will let me do that. Um, we're only going to get science income one more time. I want to invent technocracy. I feel like that's a good one. That said, if I invented tailored evolution right now, it would also push our happiness. Probably, right? No, it's a thing I have to build. Yeah, I want to invent technocracy. It gets, it gets us so safe. We're actually not capped out on um, Prosperous Worlds, and we're, we're approaching the end of the game. Hmm. This costs science to build? I am going to take this. I am going to take this. We're going to make the money. I'm going to be okay. Happiness is going to be fine. Okay, so do this. Successful world. Then we got a, a chip. Teleporters are so expensive. Um, yeah. So if we do a, if we do a chip teleport to here, that puts us on 18 worlds and we're already at 26 people. So now all we have to do is fix this stuff. Um, and it's really just, it's really just about flipping two worlds to prosperous. Um, 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 um. You've got to be right on the edge. Yeah. You just need trade. Huh. Uh, you're at f five and you have, no, you're at four. I was going to say, if we actually get a point of population or robots over to this world, it'll flip to successful immediately. It's trading with three successful neighbors already. So it hardly needs anything at all, but it does need... It needs a little bit of love. If I connected it to this world, the water trade and everything, that would be really good. I need so much money. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this. Where, what are the most valuable asteroids? We have a lot of asteroids. Teleporters, 40. Um, no asteroids of value in the void. This one's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cannot build on Rift Edge. Those need to be examined. These teleporters are broken. Okay. Can't actually make the connections, but we're closer. This will give me $12. That'll let me do a little bit of work. Connect, connect. Kabam. And then this one needs two things and also one more connection. One more good connection. And you're producing all the robots you'll ever produce. Okay. I need one more world to flip over. This world has got to, yeah, it's like right on the edge. So can I connect it to another world that's producing food, a successful world that's producing food, or a successful world that's producing... Actually, if I gave this world minerals, this would flip, and that would flip... Yeah, this would flip to yellow, and that would flip this to blue, and we would be in great shape. So do I have a point of minerals somewhere that I can teleport? Yes, I do. Teleportation... I missed. I missed the teleporter. <laughs> you have to connect it to the... You can't connect it to the back edge of the... <clears throat> All right, let me place that slightly differently. 
feels like just being ornery to me. Okay, there we go. That connection works, right? No, can't connect to this side. But isn't that good? Yeah, I don't get the warning here. Mm, okay, well, all right. Does it fit over here? The gate is giving me agita. Is that gonna work? That works, okay. What a nightmare. Uh, all right, and then I just need one more set of teleporters is the thing. Wait, shit, we're gonna have that can't connect to this side problem again here. Uh, let me build this. Can I put it up here? No. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hmm, might legitimately be a problem. Oh, what am I talking about? We're good. Kabam, 55. 55, 25. You know, this is what makes me so good at the game, is my numeracy. Uh, and then she tapped out. Huzzah! As the galaxy continues to deteriorate, more and more Vittori upload into their vessels, leaving their bodies behind so that a thing that is in many ways similar to their mind can live on. Here's the thing about brain-mind duality. Uh, it's nonsense. You have a brain and that's what your brain is. And if you don't believe me, go on HRT. <laughs> you will you will you will experience proof. All right. That's it. That's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, we got one more to go. The Aphorians. Definitely one of my favorite factions. Lots of powerful techs. Missions should be relatively easy. They do have one where you have to increase the number of goods in the galaxy, the amount of goods in the galaxy by quite a lot, and that could be a problem. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm feeling confident. We've 25 starred three of these, so we're gonna get there. Uh, so yeah, come back for that, and we'll see you then.